Yay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is very intimate. I was expecting more applause at the start of yeah. the house. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello, everyone. Yeah. It's a massive Nailed privilege it. for you to be here. <laughs> we spent all day making it look nice and part of yesterday as well. Yeah. Do you know what? We, we decided this because every time we do a live show, normally the first five minutes are just us trying to pretend that the other didn't do anything but we both did loads yeah, yeah. and I'm proud of us yeah yeah not, well. not the two people in the middle of us so they showed up a bit late well I think last oh. uh, in our Christmas special last year I think we did enough that it bought us time this year yeah. and uh, to weigh in also our car died when we tried to get here so um, your gifts um, which were intended to be bought on the way here are going to be interesting <laughs> 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 So I'd like to know what we were doing this time last year and what's changed. Because did we make New Year's resolutions last year? We no, asked each other. We just this. got absolutely rode off completely and stayed here till four a.m. Yes, and then Mick fell asleep and we couldn't get a taxi. We all walked home. I did fall asleep. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I forgot about that. And we it was just all, all so no New Year's resolutions. No, I remember us walking home in the ice and snow at four a.m. with our Santa hats on and barely locking up the building. And uh, we felt like we'd really accomplished something, didn't I we? Think we'd Don't well, say we barely <laughs> locking <laughs> up the building <laughs> on <laughs> camera, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, um, <laughs> always really lock. That was up a reference building. to a song we wrote that night <laughs> called "Barely Locking Up the Building." Lock I'm barely up. locking up the house. It was called or something. Um, but uh, no, anyway. But but that year we did so many performance stuff. I remember, and that was kind of interesting. Probably because we had loads of free time because we were still in this um, sort of COVID thing that happens, and then we just had time to do all of that, which was kind of lovely. Um, I feel that now us getting asked back was a sign that uh, we've been ushered in. Or well, we're truly out of ideas. Or, or that, yeah. <laughs> also, it's good I'll to have a woman it, on stage as well in this current yeah, yeah. climate, really. That, that swings <laughs> it for you in a big way. Well, have said very little so far, but you know, I'll do my best. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> Shane, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> but That's all we ask. <laughs> if you could just, if you could just, just, hang on a minute. Uh, <laughs> um, I, was trying to, I was trying to remember what was missing uh, this year whenever we were decorating the place as well, and that's a very drunk Ross. Ah, uh, yes. The drunk cross. I don't know if you watched I don't know if you watched last year, but there was only two people here last year, Ross and Kira. And Ross was He did really well. Yeah. For um, how long was the episode? It was about two hours. Yeah. To be fair, we were working all day. Like that we were delirious by the time we were recording the podcast because yeah. we were filming from like noon to like three AM. He he held it together until five minutes to the end and then he just <laughs> Kind of thought he was part of it. He was like, hey, you know what you should do as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, th th before he did that, he started congratulating us on it going so well. And we were like, it's still happening. <laughs> <laughs> Opening packets yeah. of crisps. Being like, yeah. that was really great, lads. I really enjoyed fucking, that. Lads, I tell you, I just, I've had a fucking brilliant night. And we are like, great, it's still happening, man. And he's like, no, honestly, it was really good. Like, And it took us a good three or four minutes to convey to him that the episode was still gone. And we left it all in. So if none of you want to be embarrassed... You know yourselves. Um, do you, outside of the podcast, that did you make New Year's resolutions last year? Uh, I can't remember, but it has been a very good year. If for you could, us. if you could make them up, because okay, I was because sure, uh, yeah. I was going to ask if you kept uh, them and years, hoping that you would say you didn't. <laughs> my New Year's I, resolution was to be back on this podcast. So well, you know. fuck, <laughs> we nailed it then. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely ruined my whole premise. <laughs> He's got married since we the did. last podcast. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we got married really recently. You did so great. that was a that was a good year. Really lovely experience. Really glad it's done. You did a first tune together. We did. We did a rather first, than a first dance, right? First set instead of a first dance. And we also figured out this is really nerdy and boring, but we figured out how to do wireless yeah. guitar and keytar. Like Class. wireless Bluetooth MIDI. Yes. Fucking great. So we entered from like at the back of the marquee and like walked up to the front of the marquee. So the... hot. It was so hot. It was so <laughs> extra and so hot. And Mickey introduced us. I, yeah. Well, I did, but I've had a bit of a mind blank. I was so nervous doing it. Honestly, no, you know, like the brilliant. master of ceremonies. It was beautiful to have you there. <laughs> Mickey compared the whole like performances, the evening performance. He compared it. It was brilliant. Let's not get delusions of grandeur. Ninety percent of it was me getting battered in the face by a nine-year-old with a balloon. Just what, like he just kept coming up, and he was just seeing how much he could do, get away with it. It was really starting to hurt. We I had. Like, a I was like, ah, it's an honor here. <laughs> to, to, to be, you stop fucking at me. We had a what I thought was a hilarious moment earlier to do with your wedding, where we were. Uh, I mean, the room looks vastly different now than it was, and we were cleaning up, and I found a, an A4 piece of paper on the floor, and I was like. 
I was like, what is this? I was, I was reading it, and I was like, what the fuck is all this? It was obviously like a song, but I, I didn't... I felt like I sort of knew it, but I was like, I don't know what this is. And then Mick was like, oh, what was it? Groove is in the heart? Yes. Groove is in the heart. That one. Um, and I, I was like, what's this for? And Mick was like, oh, that was from Ryan and Shailene's first set. And we both kind of were like, oh, that's nice. And I was like, they fucking the bin? Or? And he was like, aye, fucking it. That's, <laughs> that's the place for it. He, he can print it out again. <laughs> 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 Absolutely fair. I walked in because we did um, our first. So we walked on to this must be the place. And we were both playing wirelessly and had like a kind of weird dance. And then we had uh, ushered in like, you know, years of people we've been in bands with or played with or whatever to come up on stage with us. And uh, I mean, we were kind of close to just selling t shirts at the back for our wedding. <laughs> and, uh, a merch to that point. They, had, we they like, all had to watch yeah. us. They were there for our wedding. They couldn't get away with <laughs> it. At fucking this point. Like, You're going to watch us you know. play. That would have been That's the perfect <laughs> ruse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Full house, we sold it out. But <laughs> <laughs> the moment that came and all. <laughs> oh my God, sold out. Don't forget to put in the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up with a wild fear because I drank a wild lot and um, I was wild <laughs> and I had the mic a lot and I was like, oh no. Nah. But I remember when like there was a load of Belfast ones up playing and I was like, it's the crustiest band you've ever seen. <laughs> the crustiest band of fucking scuzzy looking hairs <laughs> and I was like fuck I hope they took that in the spirit that it was intended <laughs> which was like in a fraternal spirit I was including myself as well you know do you remember what you said to introduce my family band oh no 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 it wasn't <laughs> bad but it really made me laugh it's one of the only things I remember you said up next we're gonna find out why Chaylene talks so fucking weird <laughs> 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 when we, the first oh. podcast we did after your wedding, which was at least a few days after Mick was like still like, fuck, I can't remember anything I said. He's like, I just have this feeling that I made a fucking idiot of myself. And I was like, man, it's, it's over now. Like, you would have heard about it. And he's like, I don't know. He's like, and then he mentioned the kid with the balloon. He was like, all I remember is there was just this kid with a balloon and he kept fucking hitting me in the fucking face and I had to be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say down the mic at one point, I'm not above hitting a child. <laughs> In front of the entire wedding I'm congregation. <laughs> I'm always looking for a reason. <laughs> half, a, half a chance it'll swing a foot at it. <laughs> but, yeah, but no, did you have any news or solutions to go back? Uh, wait, I'm not finished oh, chatting okay. about your wedding. I want to <laughs> know. It's very indulgent, like, but yes. You just went to New York on your honeymoon and then continued to wear your wedding suits the whole time. Which yeah, I, I thought was a it. fucking power move. Did you? I didn't actually even notice that. Do you know that? what's amazing about New York is that we walked down the street, Ryan in his wedding suit. Me and my evening like wedding dress, so it was short, but it was a wedding dress nonetheless. And no one gave a fuck. Yeah. Like, everyone was just like, cool, whatever. It's brilliant. It's so much fun. So we were just rocking around New York looking like, I don't know, I suppose just when you're walking around, like, was great. I suppose when you're passing about three other Elvis impersonators and the Spider Man yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and shit. It's not like, to imply that I was dressed as an Elvis impersonator because <laughs> I was. <laughs> but the old Elvis, the end of days, Burger yeah, yeah. Elvis, Vegas uh, residency. That's, the, the best one. That's what I base my wedding look on and my life. Um, but if you're walking down Fort Street and Derry like that, you'd get your, you know, your head kicked in. Your knees done. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Probably keeps us all grounded, though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It's good to be able to go and do these things like for a break, but you couldn't be carrying on like that the whole time. You might end up getting a room here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get one in. I had to get one. In. <laughs> You're outnumbered, Nathan. There's more of us here than there is of you. It's fine. I'm, I feel fine with the numbers. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Tell him what happened the other night when, I, like, oh, when I was leaving. So Nathan likes to oh, car- two Nathan- brilliant things up. Yeah, yeah. yeah so cool. Nathan likes to characterize the vault. <laughs> And the people who inhabit the vault, I think, quite unfairly, Playfully. As, as like theater, <laughs> theater brats, would you say? Like, yeah, yeah. Drama school. Just if, if, there, if I was to give it like a coverall, but it's only because every time I, like, so Mick was fiercely defending this one day, and then I was leaving, and I was beaten to the door and helped out by a man who had traveled there on roller skates. <laughs> Stephen Morrissey. He just. He just he just rolled his way, and Mick had just been like, "Man, you know, I think you've got a bit of a weird view of this place, you know." And, <laughs> and then just like, on my way out, the boy just like zipped past me. He was like, "Let me get that," and I was just like, "Cheers!" <laughs> <laughs> and then another day, uh, just a, and just to give you a brief description of Stephen, he's about six foot. Big grey beard, out taller here, on skates, and usually like wearing like denim cutoffs as yes. well. Yeah, he was he was quite. 
He was quite the yeah. image. He was quite the image. Uh, I just wish I could fucking roller skate, to be honest. It's just jealousy. It's pure jealousy. Well, Nathan, there is a class here. If anybody <laughs> is interested, there's a roller skate and dance class every Tuesday, course, 79, in the rehearsal that. studio. Of course. Email me to, for more details. <laughs> uh, and then the, the second thing that happened only like a week later was we were leaving and Mick was going to sign out of the book and there was just an uncovered bowl of couscous. And Mick, I know that couscous. It was delicious couscous. <laughs> I will defend that couscous. And Mick, Thank for, you. And, Mick, whole life. and Mick just goes, oh, I must bring a Tupperware down and get a bit of that for the way home. And I was like, you, you haven't asked any questions about this couscous. I was like, it's uncovered. How, you've no idea how long it's been sitting here. And I he was, actually had a fair idea. And he was like, it was made last night. And I was like, so that means, you know, the most charitable estimate here is that this has been lying uncovered all night for, for all the evidence in front of us. And he was like, sure, it'd be fine. Was it was. Like, it's cold. It's cold. It's refrigerator cold. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a show of hands? It's so you would have done the same. Oh, These are all yeah, yeah. And all. Yeah, and yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. I knew. There, I knew there was going to be a couscous chant. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking said that earlier, didn't I? Um, hey, do you want to do our secret Santa? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which way will uh, we go? I wish I had. Um, I wish I had a secret Santa sting. Oh. Is this a big ruse and he does it, have one? No, I don't. I'll just... Uh, is it Sting from the place as Santa? I'll just <laughs> use what I have. Yeah. Secret Santa time. Are you ready to receive a gift? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Sure as hell you are. So who wants to go first? <laughs> Will we go... Here, do you know what? I'll start. I'll start. Giving gifts. For less than ten pounds. All right, that's enough. We'll get pulled if we I got use any more. Yeah, We're well past the threshold. To be fair, it's, this, is all, this has already been flagged, and we'll never monetize you can't it. Can't monetize this. But to be fair, I'm out of here. To be fair, yeah, I was going to say they're like, "You're trying to monetize this." <laughs> um, I got all this. So the the limit we set ourselves was a tenner. I got all this for eleven pounds. Whoa. That was an so, audible gas. So that was so panto. I love you that. A so I'm pr- I'm pretty yeah. So if anybody has changed, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but once again, I have gotten Shaylee. Yes, I think we've gotten the same. Yeah, setup. we have. <laughs> we have. Because we got I, the exact same. I as set last it year. up so that we couldn't. We, me and Ryan couldn't get each other because I thought that was uninteresting because we are betrothed. Married? I don't know. Betrothed. Betrothed? Betrothed? Yeah, what? Definitely married. Betrothed. Legally. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Legally bound to yeah, one another. I signed a bunch of shit. I remember that. <laughs> you did a but headline I, show. I think that just means we got... The, I think I did the same yeah. thing last year. So Sweet. we got the same... But it's cute. Listen, it I It means they can it. finally bear back without sin. <laughs> I, <laughs> I knocked as it... As far as my understanding of marriage goes <laughs> is... I like to think I knocked it within the grounds of the park. Woo! But let's do it. Oh uh, my God, I'm excited. So, uh, let me... Th- let me think where For clarification, I've not played the Battleships game once in the whole year, and I'm sorry. Listen, I never <laughs> expected you to. <laughs> Last year, he got me Battleships. That like, was the. So this year, this year has been no different, right? Because we only decided to actually do this, like yesterday. Yesterday was. It was far too late notice for yeah. us to get anything good. So. Uh, so last year I uh, forgot about it <laughs> and grabbed Battleship. In Tesco, on the way. Great gift. And then still this, unopened. And then this year, this year. <laughs> but that, that's a you know, if it's a collectible, it'll hang on to it as long as it's still in the original that's packaging. It. You're actually doing the smart thing. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, give me go, the gift. Let's go for well. There's there's four. Oh fuck! Right here we go. Because you, you can get lots of cheap shit in the range. <laughs> so uh, here, the range is somewhere I've never been. How here's exciting. one. You would love it. You would it love it. It doesn't shake. It doesn't shake. It doesn't Thank shake. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's a Rubik's Cube. Woo! Oh, we got a Rubik's Cube. Give us the Rubik's Cube it's sting. A, oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's a puzzle cube. Yeah, they don't have the rights. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. uh, Rubik's Cube. It's, uh, it's also already oh, wait, completed. That's, a... that's great. Yeah, so I don't have to you do nailed it. <laughs> you did really well. <laughs> so you can just days. you can just set that now on your on your desk or yeah. something. And be like, God, she's so smart. Yeah. <laughs> How did she do that? God. Beautiful. God damn. So, so there's Thank one. Thank you so much. Why is? It? I mean, this is a great gift. You don't need to get me anything. It was, but it was only one seventy. Oh, fuck. So, here we go. Uh, let me see. You're already setting up our gift <laughs> for failure. I, 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 I don't know. Well, you wrapped this, all yours separately. Ooh. Yeah, well, just for the sus- just for the suspense. 
I thought maybe by do the fourth. Do you have any? Do you have any suspenseful music? Yeah. Maybe? I thought by the fourth one you'd have the sting ready. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was stressful. We'll try, in a way. We'll try again on number three and four. Look, the moment's gone. The moment's gone. Okay, well, I got it the same. I got it next time. You have two more goes. Oh, look, the Christmas wrapping paper says Christmas tweetings. It's very topical. Is it kind of, you know, Elon Musk, Twitter? I don't know. You no, know, I, I, I'm in. I... <gasps> it's a tactic! <laughs> this is a great present. <laughs> yes. I remember. Oh, they used to love these. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, look, if they're not going to do it, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I'm prepared gift. for every eventuality. Also, can I say that can I love you... that you're already gifting me like I'm a like a tweeny in the '90s, and it's you're nailing it. So like, yeah, yeah, that's sort of. Can you do any flips? Can you do any flip? Can you do any an ollie? Any no. sweet tricks? <laughs> I once watched. I once watched a video. This, is, this isn't very good. Of a guy doing some really impressive shit uh, on on a on one of these. Sorry, did it, you say impressive? Really, actually, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It was, yeah was, I, I'm finding it hard to visualize as well, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, look, uh, Shailene's <laughs> making that guy look really it. impressive at the minute, but I'll allow it. That was... Uh, was All right, the, let's keep the this going. Okay, let's sorry, keep sorry, this sorry, show sorry, on sorry. the road here. Come on. Uh, Santa Christmas I, presents. Thank you. Uh, oh, again, yeah. there was a clearance. <gasps> oh, this is great. I'm having a great day. Sorry. These are all sorry, the gifts Ryan. I wanted when I was like 12. <laughs> It's a fast shots Nerf gun. Get ready, audience. Uh, legally safe. I don't believe it's actually no, no, a sorry. Nerf. It's a, an, an, an it's Omicron. A yeah, like the virus. Omicron. <laughs> Three yeah. times darts. Yes. Fast shots. Are you they can, COVID darts? You can, <laughs> they, they are COVID darts. Like now for sale at the range. Darts. Only shit the audience in the neck. Yeah. Nice. Finally, you can infect from afar. <laughs> <laughs> are they playing this weekend? This is great. You're ah! welcome. And then... No... What's the, the last one? The last oh. one, I oh, thought, time. might be, you might have to keep these on for the whole podcast. Ooh, fun. It's uh, very big as well. Nipple what clamps. does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tassels, yeah. Woo! Okay. Uh, this bag goes. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we, can, we can use this bag for r- wrapping paper. <laughs> so I think you should wear these. Giant no. boxing gloves yeah. Yeah. for a boxing <laughs> champion. 22 inches. Great. <laughs> Almost as big as you, right? <laughs> 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 that, was, that, was, that was like a layup. That was nice. <laughs> they, these are great gifts. Thank you I so know, much. I know. It's mostly gifts where I can attack the audience, it seems, but like or I really. Just Ryan. You know, or just Ryan. I don't That's know what good. you guys are into, but I got the feeling that <laughs> yeah, would be right, much up your, that. right up your street. <laughs> pretty much spot on. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so, <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of. Uh, Woo! My, my Christmas yeah. Secret Santa! Woo! Oh, hold on. Okay. Um, are uh, we not in the late late toy show now? Look at this. I'm like, you can get all of these for your <laughs> eleven for the, pounds. For eleven pounds. Oh, actually, we were Ooh. saying before recording, we should do the late late sex toy show as a podcast <laughs> feature in the future. We couldn't get a we couldn't get a thick child from Cavan on, so this is where <laughs> that's where the late late toy show has its bit. <laughs> Oh, isn't he lovely? Um, I love tractors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who doesn't? I don't really. Do. Okay, to preface our secret Santas, our that car is a broke. lot of effort into wrapping. You've made us all we look have, like fools. You should have went last. <laughs> it's just the wrapping. All fur coat, no knickers. We same. have a lot of ribbons left over from the ribbon ones at our wedding, so all of the presents have ribbons. But no, we our car broke down, so this was um, <laughs> rummaged. <laughs> it was rummaged from our house. <laughs> just, I hope it's Merry a, Christmas. a half-filled diary. <laughs> <laughs> just like the back indicator. <laughs> <laughs> it's our recycling. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a star. <laughs> Actually, we, but we need a star. Don't no. we, Orla? <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. No, I, I, is this is that a tenner or worth? <laughs> <laughs> now, if that would actually turn out to be all Toblerones in different directions, chocolate inside, I should have said. <laughs> Just suck the big hole and. Uh. <laughs> See what? <laughs> no, what happened was I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screen grab that image. <laughs> <laughs> so 
we we listened to the podcast for clues because we were like, we need to find something in this house we can give him a What do you buy two assholes? And, <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned that you had a Christmas tree for the first time yes. and that you were a bit of a Grinch about it. So we thought this would make you less Grinch-like and also because you had a very tall Christmas tree. I think you're, you know? you've retroactively applied meaning to what you found around your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I've done. But it does have meaning. Do you know Thank what I mean? Thank you. I t- our, our current star is going straight on the fire <laughs> Mick you could you could have got a fucking room excuse me <laughs> I mean I have a surplus of gifts so if you need another I, I, I might I, take you up on you that grab. Ryan you want to take your okay I'll take the lead so I have a gift that was also sourced locally very local to me in fact because <laughs> when you can't go anywhere you have to improvise and I got Nathan something uh, uh, yeah, so we listened to the podcast for clues of like maybe what you're into, where you're at at the minute. We haven't spoken to you in a wee while. I was like, oh, what's Nathan up to? And I was like, you're really talking about um, a new Give house. Him Give him the gift. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> haven't bought you a new gaff, just to be clear. That's not what's in here. That's already bigger than the one I have, so. <laughs> well, okay, cool, cool. Um, just a really boring technical thing as well. There's a noise gate on these microphones, and when we go too far away from them, they don't record. Are you trying okay. to say I was going too far away from them? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> It's just it's the sort of thing I can it's the sort of thing I can't fix, which would be annoying. But okay. but listen, I'm excited. Imagine doing that while receiving a gift. I just don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any of the of the funness. Yes, I'm. It's lots of fun. Great ribbon game, guys. The Thanks. Two, the yeah. two of you. You said these are lovely. It's to oh, disguise the you know. I mean, you know, you'll enjoy it. I think. I feel like I need to. I, I can repurpose this already. Uh, Yes. <laughs> they do listen. <laughs> you see? We're fans. And now we will show in, in, in the this audience who is also a fan because this, this will make no sense so if you haven't listened to their recent podcast. So yeah, I clearly don't listen because I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck this is about. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'd be looking back at the, the video edits and I'm like, there's where I've kind of glazed over a wee bit. I can always <laughs> tell, but I just keep going. It's grand. You know when to laugh in the right places. I'll just flip back into life. Like you're an old pro. <laughs> uh, my, I was telling... Which ye, I don't need to tell you, but I probably need to tell Mick again uh, <laughs> that I was telling Mick the other day <laughs> that uh, I very infrequently eat cereal, but I was giving out the other day that uh, every now and again I take a notion and I buy a, like a bag of Cheerios or something, and then my girlfriend would open them and she'll take like a tablespoon out of them, and then she'll just leave them fully fucking open on the on the counter, and then every time I go and try to have my Cheerios, they're all shit and soft. And we bought we bought the little plasticky things to to keep them closed, and well, they're apparently just for looking at in the drawer. Uh, <laughs> but this is an airtight solution, and That's you an airtight solution. have knocked it out of the park, sir. As a, as a person, I, I must say, I, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll yes, be honest. Yes, yes, I'll um, be honest. We have these jars, but none of them have Cheerios in them. <laughs> well, also, I so added you've already some, gone uh, a step further than any of us thought to do in our house. <laughs> well, I added some decorative stars as well that I thought might help. That's very kind of you. In some way, aesthetically. It will. And, uh, Maybe I can say to Margaret, see how shiny these are. Hopefully, they'll, one of them will catch the light and remind you to close the fucking thing. <laughs> Perhaps. I mean, I've become that old now that, like, in the morning, just my wee two Weetabix that are fucking airtight sealed, you know. And, <laughs> you know Swag. I just, <laughs> makes me feel good. What a you flex. Know? Makes me feel like a big person. And, uh, yes, Rip. so I thought, uh, I related to your story, and I thought, I want to make sure, Nathan. I mean, every man. On the in, or any, you know, whoever, infrequently wants their cereal, can just enjoy it. And it's fully intended, high quality. Chris <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's like, like listening to vinyl or like you know full quality <laughs> wave, but for uh, cereal. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm glad you are on my wavelength. I think we and you should have a podcast because <laughs> this fucking <laughs> dick I can't even remember it. <laughs> Can I just say, these two are the same energy, yeah. so that would make sense. <laughs> Open it, you can't. Mick, before I thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, this is an amazing rap. Thanks. I actually feel like I improved on my abil- my uh, attempt at last year. Beautiful. Year's. But it's so nice. I kind of just want to keep this. Can you can you remind? No, no, no. no it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth can it. you remind everyone what Mick got you last year? Uh, last year, Mick got me a bucket, <laughs> uh, a pair of slippers, and a travel sized Toblerone. All for less than a fiver. Yeah. Oh, which right, was, we doubled our well, price today. Can, this can year. you tell? Inflation. <laughs> can you not tell? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Now. I've used all. I used the slippers for you'll, comfy. I, I guarantee had you'll around. use this shit. I used the bucket for unclogging our dishwasher on the regs. So. There you go. Hey, I'm telling you. Um, 
I love this. Uh, just this ripping energy is good. Ah, okay. Let me add it. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's good. It's good, it's good. There's just there's a lot to take in here. Mick, did you go to the Russells? Let, let me the walk the, the road? Maybe I did just get it while I was getting my cider. I went over a lot wee stand. Let me walk the listeners through. <laughs> We've got some nail polishers, nail clippers. I know he's a lush cunt. A pocket comb wow. for a cool bath. Look at that hair. I can I rip mean, it out and just... Eat. There's a reason why I'm the one wearing the Santa hat. I'm like Fonzie this Christmas. Some card so I can like bet in alleyways. Shuffle with some greasy guy. sharks. Yeah, yeah, Shuffle yeah. Like yeah. A cool I can hustle some cunts <laughs> in the ground. Hustling cunts. I'm plasters for when I get kicked, uh, my ass kicked yeah. for I'm yeah, trying for to hustle cunts. cunts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it tells a whole story, this guy. Yeah, I love it. Do yeah, I know yeah, this guy? Or he knows what? Me. Do I know Do this guy? Do I know guy? this guy or what? <laughs> So well, I think we should maybe just get into the actual story now. What do you reckon? Will we do it? Will we do a wee mad notion? Listen, yeah. that's, that's Will we do we're here. a classic mad notion? A classic. Yeah, let's do it. Woo. I'm going to just do that as if this symbolizes that we're getting real in it now. Oh, okay. That's, that's it. Um, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. Also, I'm weaponized now, so I don't know what that means. but I encourage you to explore that. But not yet. I if feel someone's, like if someone's chatting or something, you just go, <laughs> no, this is why you're not allowed the Nerf gun. Yeah. Okay. I'm more, I'm I more of a celebratory <laughs> shooter, you know. <laughs> 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 so, guys, tonight I'm going to tell you about the Dave Matthews Band Chicago River Incident. <laughs> okay, so on the 8th of August 2004, a bus passing over the Chicago River unleashed a torrent of toilet waste onto a tour boat passing under the bridge below. At the time, <laughs> nobody knew who was responsible for the dumping, but the Chicago Tribune, which is where I've got most of the information here, was first to report it based on interviews with passengers, including a Tribune reporter and the tour boat company. <laughs> the incident would eventually be connected to the Dave Matthews Band and criminal charges, apologies, and at least one lawsuit would follow. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> so I was about to go spooky. <laughs> and then I was like, "There's nothing spooky about it." I have a question already. What's the to- what's the tour boat? Who's is it? Like a is it like a, one of those ones that are like on land and then they go into the river? They're or? on the Thames, aren't they? Like so it's a tour boat that is a, a t- it's a tour boat that does a guide um, of a lot of famous architectural stuff in Chicago along the Chicago River, so, and it passes under a few bridges. And it was covered in. Uh, yeah, what let's not jump the gun here, Shailene. There's sorry, a freaking ebb and flow to this thing. Woo, Christ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got two left. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, just, I just immediately realized that they're gone once Listen, I shoot them. So. Let's shoot this. You always need to get the wait. person out of your system. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, a wee bit of uh, information about the Dave Matthews band. No. Try to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Brendan. I was I like, here. I, I, I was like, maybe I should go and listen to the Dave Matthews band just so I know what I'm dealing with here. And I listened to about 15 <laughs> seconds of it. And I was like, you know what? I don't think it's pertinent to the story anymore. <laughs> I think the one Dave Matthews band fan has left. <laughs> <laughs> well, also. He's okay, mean. okay. He's like, I know this That's shit. pretty apt for this story. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. He's going to come in and just fucking throw a load of piss over can it. You, can you imagine? Like, obviously, it is. Hopefully this isn't jumping a gun, but imagine, imagine making a decision, like the decision to dump the, the 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 toilet bit of the bus or whatever, like anywhere where they know they're not meant to do it, must have been stressful enough as it was. But imagine being like, "Fuck, who's gonna?" Well, Nathan, let's not jump the gun. Dave Matthews Band, also known by the initials DMB, is an American rock band formed in Charlottesville, Virginia, in 1991. Their, major, their 1994 major label debut album, Under the Table and Dreaming, was certified platinum six times. Their 2000 album, 18 album, Come Tomorrow, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, making the Dave Matthews Band the first band to have seven consecutive studio albums debut at the peak. As of 2018, the band has sold more than 25 million concert tickets and a combined total of 38 million CDs and DVDs. 
So that's just a really? that's, that's wow. all you that they're pretty fucking huge. Like from the <laughs> Chicago River Architectural Tours website, this is what you're supposed to see when you're on it. It's covering more than 130 years of architectural history. The tour is per is the perfect opportunity <coughs> to see a huge area of the city without the hassle of taxis and public transit. <laughs> Early, enjoy ob unobstructed views of the city's top attractions, gain an in-depth understanding of local architecture, and see the sights of Chicago without getting worn out. This this feels like you know when like. You read about like a murder story and it's already terrible, but they add in details of like why it's so terrible. They're like, sh they, they were so nice. Yeah. They were, they were, they were so popular. It was supposed to be a sunny like, day. You're like, it's already bad news. Like, you don't need to make it worse, you know? And they're like, <laughs> I love their laying this up. They're like, this is a nice city. This is a nice boat. <laughs> it brings people to see nice things. What could why go did, wrong? Why did they do this? <laughs> 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 How many people are in the Dave Matthews band, by the way? Isn't there like seven or eight of them or something? Brendan. <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> Brendan, you're very involved in this, my man. <laughs> you we need really to be should ready get, Make sure go. you invoice us for this at the end of the night. <laughs> say, say no more, say no more. That's all we need to know because I'm afraid but you, you might know, spoil But you know because you said things. at the time. He's in the yeah. know. Look, that's he a, knows the there's a lot of, there's a It's a big band. It's a big band. Okay, right, okay, so okay, I'm going okay, to get in that part one and I've called this part the shit storm. <laughs> <laughs> So at the outset of a Chicago River boat tour, Captain Sonia Lund joked that passengers, passengers should not look up with their mouths open when passing under the city's graded bridges, <laughs> lest they get a true taste of Chicago. Foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing. <laughs> that's just a really weird thing to say. Exactly, that's what I thought as well. It was like, don't open your mouth <laughs> when hope, you I go she, over the, under the bridge. I hope she's in on it. That'd be, ama <laughs> that'd be amazing. If that, that's a twist I already don't see coming. <laughs> According to passengers and tour officials, <laughs> around 15 minutes later, the passengers got much more than that. They got a deluge when the boat christened the little lady was dulled with a foul liquid substance that appeared to drop from one or two charter buses as the boat passed under the Kinsey Street Bridge in downtown Chicago. Like it had done every day, <laughs> uneventful, for 15 years. Until this very faithful, it was a. It, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Children were dancing on their way to school. Men going about their business, selling their wares wholesomely, like they do. Instead of out of a briefcase, they do it out of a crate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were there. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got flat caps, uh, according to passenger. No, wait, I wrote that bit. Witnesses said they'd just begun the Chicago Architecture Foundation's 1 p.m. tour when they passed under a bridge and a cascade of brownish-yellow substance rained down upon them. Oh. And I've, I've prepared a sound effect. No, I know that doesn't it's sound like it. Uh, that doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, I, I was stuck for time. So did you uh, record that yourself? Uh, yeah, no, I tried that <laughs> and it was disgusting. <laughs> I was like, I can't let people hear this. I'm nearly sick listening. To <laughs> so about two thirds of the passengers seated on the upper deck of Chicago's Little Lady were soaked. A volunteer guide at the boat's helm reassured passengers that they had been splashed with water. <laughs> two things I love about that. <laughs> One, what the volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not getting paid to be there. And two, they're like, ah, it's just water. Man. What are you talking about? You know what water smells like. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, water. It's brown. It's yellow. It smells of piss and shit. <laughs> Where do you think it comes from? <laughs> that is such a volunteer's reaction to a crisis. Because, like, you know, they're just like, I don't, it's fine. Don't riot. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to deal with this at I bet, all. I bet it's grand. Let's not talk about it. It's fine. It's definitely not in the training manual, is it? No. Mm, yeah. yeah. I'd say there's no page for how to deal with a, a shower of shit and piss. Well, there is now. It's under the DMB section. <laughs> <laughs> Future incidents in the Chicago River. The um, Chicago River clause. Yeah. That's, how, that's, how, that's how these really specific laws get made, isn't it? Like, yeah. You're like, what the fuck is there a law about that for? And you Don't know, open your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> you're, it's illegal to open your mouths under that river now. But Just, I mean, this is already so suspicious because why would you dump it off a bridge? I'm sure they're in the middle of a city. Let's find <laughs> out. Okay, so there was stunned <laughs> silence initially. We want answers. Then sort <laughs> Of this uh, then sort of this horrible realization as they began to smell themselves as to what happened, said Steedman Bass, 35, of Boston. 
Brilliant name, Steedman Bass, 35, Boston. Yeah. He was a passenger on the boat, but was not sprayed, which I think is brilliant because it's his quote, and he's like, I didn't get covered in shit, but I <laughs> saw it. I swear <laughs> to God, I didn't, none of it touched me, but I saw it go everywhere. Do you reckon whenever the news reporters were looking for, like, you know, the man on the street, like, kind of talking head person who saw it? Like, they were only going to pick someone who wasn't covered in shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. like, not them. Yeah. No, 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 no. Stand no. like this here going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And were you, you were clearly there. Uh, if you could just tell me over there, so take the mic with you and just <laughs> bring it back when you've told me everything. Don't put it too close to your face. No. <laughs> <laughs> Passengers looked up to see at least one, possibly two charter buses rumbling above. They shouted that police should have called and demanded that the boat be turned around, which I'm just thinking, what must that have sounded like? So how is that going to make it better, was it? Wait, say that again. Wait. They said <laughs> after it happened on the boat, so they get drenched in shit, and then they all start shouting, "Call the police!" <laughs> <laughs> so within minutes, the tour headed Imagine back being to in the dispatcher for the police, <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, "What happened?" <laughs> <laughs> There's shit everywhere. <laughs> Come quick. We're covered in shit. It's everywhere. It's in my hair. And there's at least like, you know, you can write off one call as a prank caller, but there's like 12 <laughs> different numbers and they're like, these guys are really fucking committed. Like, there's a lot of burners <laughs> and accents on the go here. These lads have rehearsed. Within minutes, the tour headed back to the dock at Michigan Avenue, speeding as fast as the boat would go. Uh, Lund said some passengers <laughs> became sick from the smell and made use of the lower decks bathrooms. Oh, fuck. Uh, at the dock, the nope. 120 passengers, 120, disembarked and were given <laughs> refunds for the $25 tickets, exchanges, or open-ended tickets for later I tours. D- I love that you haven't made a noise until, like, all the awful details. And then he's like, there's 120 people on the boat, and you're like, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. There was 800 pounds of human waste dumped on this boat. 800 pounds? 800 pounds of human waste was dumped on this boat. 800 pounds, yeah. yeah. I mean, even... At one yeah. number. So we had, what's the ratio there? Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. in the vault got shut on. <laughs> At what number does it be... <laughs> that's, that's nearly a hundred pounds a shite per person, like yeah. you know. I mean, I'm not good with maths, but I'd say it's nearly that. <laughs> that's not it. Five <laughs> <laughs> hundred. Uh, no, a, you, eight, eight. You got it completely shit. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Still eight pounds a shit per person, nearly. It's Would so it bad. have been a bigger story if <laughs> math is people, the enemy if, of artists? If, if eight people got covered in a hundred pounds of shit, each, they might die. To or, be honest, or or a hundred people got covered in eight pounds of shit each. Which which is a bigger story? In, in 50 years of operation, the tour has never experienced something like this. Obviously, this wasn't our fault, said Bastian Booma, <laughs> Vice President of Marketing. <laughs> Bastian, 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 Bastian Booma. I love that he felt the need to clarify. Just Booma, so we're clear. Booma said that he was told that someone recorded license plate numbers from the bus or buses and reported the plates to the police. Tomorrow morning, we'll find out what buses were involved and hopefully we'll get some answers. Police confirmed a report had been made but said it was not being investigated as a crime. Had they played the show? Had they uh, had they played Chicago yet? Were they on the way in or out? They were on their way in. The way out, know. clearly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an important detail. And uh, <laughs> Steedman Bass has the last word. He said, "If you tried to or- orchestrate this, it would be an almost impossible scenario." And that brings us neatly onto our first table read of the evening. Oh, exciting! That is the that is the wrong. Woo! O- yes, yes, yes. That is the wrong order. To pass it on. Take one and pass it on. That is the wrong order to do that in because surely you would shit on the way out. Yeah, yeah. You'd Look, sh- you'd shit we'll on the way out. find out what's going to happen here. You wouldn't, you okay. The bridge is just the worst so place to do. So what happens here now is I'm going to. I've written a scene. Anytime I don't my shit. Am I the captain? <laughs> I have written a exciting. scene that is going to describe essentially my my interpretation of what happened on the day. <laughs> um, Shailene, I want you to play Captain Sonia. Yes. Ryan, I, I am the guy. Ryan, I would like you to play the volunteer. Okay. And Nathan, I'd like you to play Steedman Bass, 35, <laughs> from Boston. And if you could do it in a Boston accent, that would be fantastic. <laughs> okay. Are, are we also in Boston accent? No, 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 I'm no, not doing a you got you're fine. <laughs> you just, you see the bears? Just, feet, what, just, just let the character inhibit okay, you. Okay, just, okay. Oh don't, shit, there's writing on the back. There's writing on the back oh, okay. as well. Okay, so we're going to get straight into this. I'll read, I'll read out the, the uh, stage directions. Okay, so Who's the volunteer? Ryan's volunteer. Our, okay, first okay. Scene, our first scene takes place on the harbour on the Chicago River. 
Are you, are you doing an accent? No. Oh. You don't need to do accents. Guys, do come accents. on. We're on a river. river. I can add them to my CV okay. then. Okay, harbor on the Chicago River. Captain Sonia and volunteer discuss the upcoming tour. Are you excited to ride the poop deck of the little lady? <laughs> Excuse me? I said, are you excited to ride the poop deck of the little lady? I don't understand. It is common sailing parlance. The boat is called the little lady, and the poop deck is where you will be riding. God, you just can't get the staff these days. I feel like I'm talking to some sort of volunteer. That's exactly what I am. I'm a volunteer. It's my first day. My name is... I don't care what your name is. All I care about is this boat who I named my child after. You mean you named the boat after your child? Did I fucking stutter? No, sorry. Sorry what? Um, I need to turn the page here. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, sorry, Captain Sonia. That's going straight into our, for- our role playing. Um, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> that's right. I run a tight little ship on this boat. She's, she's not messing either. Like. And I won't take shit from you or anyone else on it. You hear? Yes, Captain. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Get the passengers. I want as many people on this little lady as can manage. (laughs) Don't worry. She can take a major load. (laughs) Did I mention that I named my child after this boat? He's called Little Lady. He's 14 and fucking hates me, but I don't give a damn. (laughs) Mick? The volunteer motions to the tour group to approach the boat. Welcome, everyone, to the Chicago Architecture Foundation's River Boat Tour. My name is... Hey, buddy. This is Steedman Bass, 35, Boston. (laughs) (laughs) I can't remember what it sounds like. All right, ass, John F. Kennedy. That's right, that's it, that's it. Yes, right. Nobody gives a rat's ass what your name is. (laughs) Unless you're a quarterback for the New England Patriots, I don't want to know. Yeah, that's right. I'm from Boston. Don't believe me? Mac Wahlberg, fuck my wife. You don't get more Boston than that. Can you all please form an orderly queue to come on, little lady? Please be careful, she gets quite slippy. So does my wife when she's having sex with Mac Wahlberg. Go Red Sox! (laughs) I like this guy. I think I shall take him as my ship wife. (laughs) Frisk him for weapons and send him to my quarters. It gets lonely at sea. Captain, we're on a river 800 miles inland. Listen here, volunteer. We're here on this pier, and it appears clear that you intend to sneer, smear, and jeer me. It does not endear me to you. This is my career, so you better adhere, or there will be tears. (laughs) Tears? Tears? Am I reading this right? No, yes, 100%. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> we are not equals. This is my sphere. I am on a higher tier, and I haven't even left the first gear. Is that clear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boat, very good shilling. Boat, a little later. We're about 20 minutes into the tour. The sun is shining. Let me just get my wee boat sound effect. That's us on the boat now. <laughs> we are now approaching the Kinsey Street Bridge. Don't look up with your mouth open unless you want a true taste of Chicago. If it's not clear, I am joking about drinking piss. Something we've all had to do at sea. Yeah, me and the boys all make each other drink our own piss all the time. We take turns holding a bozo down. One, one of us stands over him and we'll gush his heart at the wazoo. We only stop where my buddy Ricky accidentally passed a kidney stone and blinded my other buddy Nico. Best Thanksgiving ever. Go Red Sox! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the passengers are drenched by a, oh, uh, by a cascade of brownish-yellow substance raining down on them. Oh no! We've been drenched by a cascade of brownish-yellow substance raining down on us! Someone call the police, I'm covered in shit! Ryan? Oh, Ryan. so... He was lost on it. <laughs> I'm lost... Oh, God, what do I do, Captain? <laughs> what do I do? Deny everything. The last thing we want is a mutiny of piss-covered pirates tossing us overboard. You keep them calm. I'll turn this boat around. Steedman, have you been hit? They ain't got shit on me, Captain. I'm clean as a whistle. <laughs> Apart from my criminal record, which is littered with DUIs. Go Goodwill hunting! <laughs> <laughs> we need to be certain. Go to my quarters, undress, and await personal inspection. Oh boy, I'm about to get wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well so, well I'm well so I'm so glad I'm the one in charge of clipping it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, it's better than his like last year's story. You know, we're in less trouble than that. Yeah, so there's a lot of pages <laughs> left. <laughs> Part two: The suspect. Oh fuck! Okay, here we go. The bus driver for rock star Dave Matthews called from the road Monday to say his luxury coach was not the one responsible for dousing passengers on a Chicago River boat tour with 800 pounds of human waste over the weekend. One witness gave Chicago police an Oregon license plate number that belongs to the coach driven by Jerry Fitzpatrick, who's been Matthews' tour bus driver for three years. Fitzpatrick confirmed he was in Chicago with Matthews, but the driver said he was parked in front of the Peninsula Hotel when the waste rained down from the bridge several blocks away. There's no way I could be responsible for that, Fitzpatrick said from downstate Effingham. I haven't emptied the tank for days. Besides, we're very cautious about how we do that sort of thing. To bolster his case, Fitzpatrick coaxed Sergeant Paul Gardner of the Effingham Police Dis- Department to inspect the bus. He then gave Gardner his cell phone to tell a reporter that the tank was nearly full. One of the strangest requests I've ever had, that's for sure, Gardner said. So this driver got the policeman down and was like, Look, look, I'm telling you, the bus is full of shit. See for yourself. And then he made this policeman, uh, he got the reporter on the phone and handed the phone over to the policeman and goes, Tell him, tell him I didn't do it. Sounds guilty, doesn't Instead it? Instead of just telling you what happened. It sounds, it sounds guilty already, yeah. Asked why a witness identified his license plate, Jerry Fitzgerald speculated that boat passengers combed the area for tour buses. It's a very common license plate. <laughs> <laughs> and came across it, a him waiting for Dave Matthews in front of the Peninsula Hotel. So Jerry is trying to flip the narrative. He's trying to paint himself as a victim. He says, this is a hit job. Someone's <laughs> out to get me. I mean, it's surely only... Within the control of the driver. I know this isn't Cluedo, but it could be. The big be. red button? Yeah, like surely. He's, he's banged right. Do you think it's a big red button or is it just everyone carrying a big bucket? It better be a brown button. That'd be the best, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the big brown button. The big brown button. <laughs> no, you have to actually stick your hand. It's not a button. Yeah. It's like an, an enveloping that you have to kind of stick your hand. <laughs> she knows. She knows. Because <laughs> well, I, I imagine if... Hola! <laughs> I imagine if, you're, if your job is you're, you're a bus driver for and you're driving around touring bands, surely yeah. the last thing you want is for someone in the band to have access to a button that would unleash all the it shit and piss you've done. Well, also, you just said, is that not the golden rule of the bus? Like, I know. Don't shit in the bus. Yeah. No number two's in the bus. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. Brown, that is the known golden... That's why I never went on tour. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't get on board with that. I cannot be constrained with yeah. your rules. Some birds' feathers are too bright. No, case, Bruce Springsteen, I won't <laughs> go on tour with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back in Chicago, officials said... Uh, officials with the Sh- Chicago Architectural Foundation still <laughs> there was were, were fe- <laughs> there <was a> <laughs> still were fielding <laughs> angry calls from passengers Can we on, get the that Ill- from the top? on the ill-fated crew. Yeah, back in Chicago. Oh, let's take that from the top. <laughs> back in Chicago, officials with the Chicago Architectural <laughs> Foundation still were fielding angry calls from passengers. Shut up, Nathan, on the ill-fated crews. <laughs> All 120 passengers <laughs> were given <laughs> refunds on their $25 tickets. Five went to hospital for testing, police said. Several have since called the foundation demanding compensation for clothing and personal items that got soaked. One man had a very expensive leather jacket that I'm sure he's not going to wear again, which I think <laughs> sounds like Steedman Base 35 from Boston. <laughs> After dropping Matthews at Midway Airport on Monday, Fitzgerald headed to Arkansas for a break. He said he planned to empty the waste tank when he got home. Uh, he says the band is very environmentally conscious. Are you and sorry? Is anyone here a fan of a band so much that they know this much about them? This is unbelievable. I know you are. <laughs> 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 you're, you're, you're the topic of conversation, Brendan. <laughs> you're the exception to the rule. Uh, this is incredible. Orla would know about Swift. Swift she would know here. about Swift. Yeah, yeah Orla's a massive She's very shy about it. No, she wasn't saying it actually yet. I'm sure we all do, you know. Okay, if I can take you now to part two of your script read. Okay. I hope this is the end of my Boston accent. Uh, <laughs> I, bet, I bet it's not. <laughs> Any accent guidance in this uh, part? So, right, Shailene, you're the uh, waiter in this scene. <gasps> I'm not the captain anymore. No, you're not the captain in this scene. You're still my captain. Ryan, you are driver. <laughs> Ryan, you're Jerry Fitzpatrick. And Nathan, okay. you're Sergeant Paul Gardner. So we'd like you to wear this. It's the closest thing I have to a sort of detective sergeant I don't know hat. what the fuck this was yes. about earlier. I saw it. And yes. you, can, um, you can do whatever accent you want for this, Nathan. Um, Any accent, you say? Any accent, I'm <laughs> going to hit the... 
Okay, this is us. We're in a cafe. We're in a restaurant a few days later. I fucking hate hats. You look great, man. Don't Thanks. worry about it. Do um, I look okay? Do I look, do I look cool? Sergeant Paul Gardner <laughs> meets with his prime suspect, driver for the Dave Matthews Band, Jerry Fitzpatrick. Thanks for meeting me at you this... You don't have to do the Boston accent, man, either. Is it this was thing? not... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cork and just, Boston. Just they, of, they often get confused. A lot of I people think. from Cork have moved to Boston, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> This ambiance is <laughs> I haven't actually used a, a normal bottle opener. In a People are loving this. this Sergeant dinner. Paul Gardner meets with his prime suspect, driver for the Dave Matthews band, Jerry Fitzpatrick. Thanks for meeting me at this roadside diner, Jerry Fitzpatrick. My name is Sergeant Paul Gardner, and I'm the Chicago Town Pizza... I'm from the Chicago Town Pizza Department. I get it now. Okay. Don't you mean Chicago Town Police Department? Wait, what did I say? Chicago Town Pizza Department. Oh, sorry, I skipped lunch because uh, I'm trying to solve this case. Uh, do you know anything about the incident that occurred on the uh, the Kinsey, C- Kinsey Street Bridge a few days ago? Sorry, I'm a bit pissed. <laughs> I heard from, about it. From lunch. Uh, the passengers were, 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 were drain- drenched uh, by a cascade of brownish-yellow substance raining down on them. That's what it says in my notes. <laughs> it was very sad and hilarious, but it wasn't me, and I can prove it. Uh, could you make a quick? I am. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty hungry. There is no way I could be responsible for that shit show. I haven't emptied the tank for days. That's not what it says. Yes, we went from Brooklyn it to is. Chicago. Where am I? <laughs> it is. Where the fuck did I get? Come on, Nathan. All, other way. Oh, can you be so sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, a driver has a special relationship with his bus. They are more like an extension of ourselves than big, long rectangles with wheels and seats. I've driven that bus for years, and we're completely in sync. I mean completely in sync. They're a great man. What are you saying? Ain't it clear? I'm all bunged up, detective. I ain't passed stool since we left Charlottesville. And if I ain't duke then, then the bus ain't duke neither. You're full of shit, Mr. Patrick. That's exactly what I'm saying. I should book you right now, only for the fact that I am very hungry and the waiter hasn't even taken my drinks order yet. Oh, so you don't believe me. Lucky for you, I drove the bus here. If you think I'm full of crap, you're welcome to take a look. Or you can shove your hand on my ass and feel the truth for yourself. I am so fucking hungry. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Are you ready to order? <laughs> Jerry? I'll pass, sweetheart. <laughs> As I was telling the copper here, I ain't been able to pass brown in days. I'm all bound up, you see, I tell you. I'm mostly turd from teeth to taint. You ain't got a laxative on the menu, do you? Do you know what? On second thoughts, I have lost my appetite entirely. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Ryan, can I just say... <laughs> Outstanding Ryan, commitment. You, you absolutely nailed what I was going for with oh, that character. Yeah. You really... You, you got it. Once you settled on. on an accent, it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long while to get there, but I'm... Thank you. Yeah. I like that Sergeant Paul Gardner was fine until the last line on his appetite. <laughs> <laughs> All the other stuff was fine. Was the turn was, from teeth to teeth. Yeah. In the early afternoon of August 8th, 2004, oh, yeah. Lynn LaPlante oh. Alloway was pregnant and driving out of the city with her husband and young son. Back then, she said, she was in a perpetually nauseous, expectant mother, which meant two things. She was driving with the windows open and any upset to the senses could upset her stomach, racing for her arsehole. I must have actually just added that wee bit in at the end. Um, I'd obviously copied and pasted the article and then <laughs> added in my own little bit of flair at the end there <laughs> that I'd forgotten about, so let me read that again. She was driving with the windows open and any upset to the senses could send her stomach racing for her arsehole. Uh, I always had <laughs> to drive... in the Chicago Tribune. <laughs> sure? I, always <laughs> I always had to drive when I was pregnant because the slightest bit of motion and, you know, the barfing would start, said Alloway, who's now 46 and works as a musician and a freelance writer. Sound familiar? <laughs> But there was no. one good... Yeah, I don't play music anymore. <laughs> uh, but there was one good thing be, uh, about the unsettled pregnancies. The hormones seemed to go straight to her hair, which I thought was a weird thing uh, to include in the article. I have no idea what that means. Yeah. There's, uh, pregnancy hormones, she, her hair 
is looking good is what they are. Oh, really? Yeah. She said, quote, my husband was in the passenger seat and then our little toddler, who was, who's now 17, was sleeping in the back. It was just one of those beautiful days with the windows down. And I remember feeling like, oh, wow, my hair just looks amazing, you know, <laughs> long and curly. <laughs> I was just full of self-admiration in the rear view mirror and bragging to my husband about my hair. And then I know there's a big bus and then it was instant horror. I drove, I drove us right through this enormal, pu enormous puddle of poop, which our wheels then kicked up, splashing all over the sides and under underneath the car. The horrifying smell hit us like a tsunami, and I barfed, leaning my head out the window while I drove, while my husband, now screaming from the passenger seat to pull over, while my son was quietly <laughs> oblivious in the back seat. And then the full-on smiting began. My outgoing barf got blown back by the wind and right into my hair. <laughs> My beautiful, clean, fresh, prenatal vitamin hair. The new com the, this new combined smell of bar plus shit made me throw up again and again. And I'm trying to lean my head out the window so I'm not throwing up all over the car while I'm driving. But by this point, I was also crying with my husband screaming at me, pull over, for God's <laughs> sakes, pull over. Alloway was crying and still retching as she, she and her husband switch, sh switched seats. I'm starting to get a wee bit drunk. He, he drove to a car wash to clean the vehicle and Alloway did what she could for herself with paper towels. This is where it gets interesting. Alloway is a professional violinist. She plays violin and viola with the Chicago Town a Jazz Philharmonic and is the group's principal violinist. She was on her way to perform at a wedding. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. With that. the whole family in the car? That's what I thought too, Nathan. She's like, I'll get a free meal for the three of us. Yeah. Just, just follow there's my lead. There's always sausage rolls and black coffee. You're just, you know, we'll give it the old, oh, the babysitter cancelled. Yeah, 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 uh, exactly. That's why they're already wearing suits. Just assimilate yourself into the party. <laughs> Take a new surname. Um, videotape evidence uh, from the nearby East Bank Club. I'm so glad, sorry, that the hair thing paid off because I was like, why is this, why is this so person so fucking fixated on it? You're right. So videotape evidence from the nearby East Bank Club, a swanky gym, showed only one big bus crossing the Kinsey Street Bridge during the time when the dumping happened. That and a license plate check were enough to investi for investigators to pin the crime to the Dave Matthews Band. And at the August 25th press conference to reveal the videotape, Mayor Richard Daly called the dumping absolutely unacceptable, but also, noted that, the con also noted that he considered Matthews a very good band. <laughs> uh, and that leads us on to part three. I love that's a pure politician move there. <laughs> yeah. It's like I, I, I do need to condemn it, but I would like free tickets. We're on to part three here, and that is the sound of us in a car. We're in the car driving over the Kinsey Street Bridge, and Shailene, I want you to play Lynn, mm -hmm. and uh, Ryan, I want you to play husband. Nathan, you can sit this one out. Lynn LaPlante Alleyway, a musician, is on her way to perform at a wedding. She's admiring her luscious pregnancy hair in the rear view mirror. I know I should have my eyes on the road, especially with a toddler in the back seat, but can you believe how good my hair looks? If my semen had the same impact on my own hair, I drink it every morning for breakfast. <laughs> you need to stop saying that in front of the child. <laughs> it's fine. His mind has already been completely pickled by the family iPad. If you ask me, he's a write-off. We should focus our energies on the next one. You're right. Here, take the wheel. I'm going to stick my head out the window. I think that is a fantastic and a completely safe idea, especially since we've protected by this big, long rectangle with wheels and seats in front of us. <laughs> That's a bus. Oh, <laughs> My life is perfect and nothing will ever go wrong. I'm strong, <laughs> talented, and beautiful. I'm going to be the hottest person at this <laughs> wedding. This day is about me. I'm a pr principal violinist of the Jazz Philharmonic Orchestra, bitch. <laughs> oh, no. We've been drenched by a cascade of brownish-yellow substance raining down on us. <laughs> well done, Shailene. Brilliant. That was great. That was like manifestation. Fantastic <laughs> I would like that, performance. <laughs> Fantastic performance. We're on to the last... What a funny little husband you've become. Yeah, Ryan, again. <laughs> again, fantastic, Ryan. Fantastic. Just, you bring these characters to life on the page, Mick. It's written for you, mate. I feel like I, I've uncovered a star tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see this guy. He's amazing. <laughs> He's a character actor like Paul Rudd or something. <laughs> 
Part four, classic, the court kids. Classic character actor, Paul, <laughs> Paul Rudd. Rudd is, well, he's not even a character actor. Not really, no. He's, he's literally just Paul Rudd and everything. He's <laughs> in, yeah, like Jim Carrey or Brian Reynolds. He's just that guy. Part four, the court kiss. Chicago Tribune headline, March 10th, 2005. Dave Matthews Band bus driver pleads guilty to dumping waste in river. In a court hearing on Wednesday morning, a driver for the Dave Matthews Band admitted that he emptied his bus's sept tank over the Chicago River last summer, drenching passengers on an architectural boat tour with 800 pounds of human waste. Stefan Wall, 42, was sentenced to 18 months of probation, 150 hours of community service, and a $10,000 fine after pleading guilty to misdemeanor charges of reckless conduct and water pollution. Does, can I, sorry... Does eight hundred pounds as a capacity for the septic tank on a bus seem like an awful lot? Yeah, I just think that's far too high, especially considering the one known thing I know about bus touring is like you cannot shit on the bus. If the capacity is eight hundred, it sounds like most of the space. You could definitely be shitting on the bus. If it that's sounds the like case. it sounds like most of the space on the bus is for to hold the shit. Yeah, and piss. I, I'll, and I'll not lie. I find it hard to quantify because I... 800 like, pounds. 800 pounds. What is that in stone? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Six people's worth of shit. That was great. Stefan Wall, 42... <laughs> uh, sorry. Wall's guilty... Wall's I'm sorry. You're very, you're very wise, but Mick wants to keep going. Yeah, no. Just... <laughs> <laughs> very Getting lost time. in the semantics. Wall's guilty plea was the first time that the bus driver for the popular rock band publicly acknowledged <laughs> discharging the waste... <laughs> He's like, ah, they got me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you got me, Kappa. <laughs> it Thanks was me, I tell you. It's like, I own the bus. I'm the I only, hate oxy- I'm the, architecture. I'm and the only person. With- for- <laughs> I prefer substances to be liquid, see? <laughs> this sounds like like a, whenever there's like courtroom dramas and they cave under no... Like, do you, know, do you ever watch like Law and Order and they like they only have 10 minutes, you know, so they just get them right away. You're like, ah, oh, you got me. You know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I crack under the most modest bit uh, of pressure. Like, straight away. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Uh, Wall at first denied the dumping and the band stood behind him while offering in a statement posted on their website to provide instiga- uh, investigators with DNA evidence, which I'm like, how, what? how does that work? <laughs> stool stool yeah, sample. Yeah. Take a stool sample oh, from our big, our big septic tank. <laughs> Shut up, Brendan! <laughs> the, the last lone defender of the Jim. It's like, you're full of shit, man! <laughs> <laughs> Wall admitted that on the afternoon of the 8th of August, he discharged the septic tank while the bus cross crossed the graded Kinsey Street Bridge downtown, endangering about 100 sightseers riding the open deck tourist bus passing under the bridge. Speaking after the hearing, attorney Robert Egan, who no- negotiated the plea deal, said he was satisfied with Wall's punishment, even though it didn't include jail time. I've been in touch with many of the people who were on the boat, and none of them suffered any lasting health effects, Egan said. Though many threw out their clothing they were wearing that day and said their cars became soiled on their drive home. A long-time driver for the band's fiddle player, Wool had been suspended from his job since the Chicago incident. The band's publicist said there are no plans for him to start driving again. The Dave Matthews Band family was shocked and saddened to think that one of our buses was involved in this terrible incident. (laughs) <laughs> we had no idea <laughs> <laughs> After the incident The band donated $50,000 To both the Chicago Park District And the Friends of the Chicago River In a statement the rock band said The gifts were an effort to begin the healing process Did the, the, the viola player have their own driver? Well, Nathan, just you're no, you're on the right track. <laughs> what happened beneath the bridge over the north branch of the Chicago River has been well documented. What happened in the culture was swift, also visceral, and surprisingly long lasting. The Matthews Band lost a little bit of its environmental luster. The group whose Ben and Jerry's flavor, which was coffee ice cream mixed uh, with mocha swirl and fudge uh, chunks, oh God. unfortunate. I'm sure you'll agree. The humanity. <laughs> <laughs> They do, uh, it donated proceeds <laughs> to combat climate change. Uh, was forced to admit that it toured in five separate buses. So the band were forced to admit after this that although they have a reputation for being eco-friendly, they have five separate tour buses. The following month, <laughs> DMB settled a civil lawsuit that the state of Illinois had brought, paying $200,000 to be used towards environmental education. Uh, in exchange, the band did not have to admit guilt in court. 
Were, Sam- they, were they sneaking the other buses all along into the venues when there were six buses and uh, like this is what got them? And, and then they were like, we have to admit these other buses that we've like. How do how do you sneak five other buses in to the venue? And just be like, come on, shush, get in, get in, get in. Is this the thing that this was a surplus bus that they probably shouldn't have had, but it well, was somehow full of eight hundred pounds of the vile <laughs> <laughs> shit bus? Yeah, yeah. on a shit bus. Like, there was five that different. Oh, I've been on a lot of shit buses. <laughs> <laughs> shit there on the bus. There, there was league. five different buses for the band, and in that one bus that was apparently just for the fiddle player, <laughs> there was eight hundred pounds <laughs> of shit. And the fellow player's like, yeah, I'm on ABS. It's a fucking killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you'd be so shown if you were that fellow player. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the settlement came. The settlement came during the same season that Ben and Jerry's released its new newest DMB flavor, a mix of vanilla ice cream, fudge brownie chunks, and a raspberry swirl, which was given the name the Dave Matthews Magic Band. Dave Matthews Band Magic Brownies. <sighs> Stefan Wall served as probation and community service in Texas, and he, his ten thousand dollar fine was donated to the Friends of the Chicago River. What a fucking scandal! Now, I have a little bit of an epilogue there here, and then we'll do one more table read, and then we'll sign us off for the night. So 10 years after, the Free Beer and Hot Wings show, which is a nationally syndicated program out of Michigan, had a man on air who claimed to be Stefan Wall. In a too brief interview, Wall seemed to suggest that he was just the fall guy, and he floated a second black bus theory, which would have been more impactful if I had not already revealed that there's been five buses. I realize that now. <laughs> that was a production oversight. It's like Columbo. <laughs> that was also supposed to be an angry crowd, not a gasp. Um, <laughs> there is no longer a Dave Matthews band, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's flavor. These are labeling these buttons. And, and the Chicago Architecture Foundation River Cru- Cruise continues as one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. And in 2015, a dedicated historian went to the Kinsey Street Bridge and erected a homemade memorial. <laughs> Beside a candle and glass, a poster board sign said, in 2004, at this very location, a DMB tour bus dumped 800 pounds of poo on some people. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag always remember. (laughs) That's the story of the Dave Matthews Band. Now let's fucking finish it off with the final table read of the night. Let's finish it off with the final table read of the night. (laughs) So let's, uh, where are we? Here we go. Part four. Into courtroom. Uh, uh, Let me get this. Let me just get my... Let me get the let me get the vibe right. Let me get the vibe right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. In the. In the <laughs> into, into the. This is, is supposed is the, to be a courtroom. Is the person who wrote the directions it's supposed to be a courtroom. <laughs> into courtroom. <laughs> Does that sound like a courtroom? Yeah. 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 Oh. It's like that was a comedy. Okay. In, uh, in, uh, interior courtroom. Who are we all playing? Interior. Uh, oh yes, yeah. So <laughs> Shailene is Captain Sonia. Excellent. Nathan, you're Sergeant Gardner. If you want to put your hat on again. Oh goodness. Ryan, you're Jerry Fitzpatrick, the uh, yes. the the bus driver, and I will play the judge at the end. Uh, okay. My bobby hat. We're in a courtroom. Captain Sonia is recounting the incident from her perspective. Through a rigorous personnel inspection in my quarters, I was able to determine that Bass, baseman, bass, Bassman Steed? Yeah, I actually didn't mean to do that. It's meant to say Steedman Bass, but I've actually wrote <laughs> Bassman Steed. That's a better name. That's a better name. It was supposed to be Steedman okay, Bass. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bass I was like, have I missed this character? Okay, okay. <laughs> Steedman Bass managed to avoid the fecal matter entirely. I deemed it prudent to remain in my quarters with him rather than risk contamination. Someone else volunteered to sail the boat home. Thank you, Captain Tanya, for that graphic and unhelpful account. <laughs> uh, so, to recap, we have several eyewitnesses that testify to having seen the Dave Matthews Band bus dump shit on the little lady. All clues lead to Jerry Fitzpatrick, but I was able to discount Mr. Fitzpatrick through rigorous police work. He put his hand up my ass. <laughs> so, so what? So what gives? Bag full of sh- a bus full of shit speaks for itself, unless there was another bus. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Sergeant Paul points across the court to Stefan Cool, driver for the band's violinist. We've skipped a bit. Oh, sorry, sorry, but sorry, famously. sorry. Famously. Yeah, sorry, go back, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Unless. <laughs> There was another bus. <gasps> like before. <laughs> we'll cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> but the famously eco-conscious Dave Marty's band would never travel separately across multiple gas-guzzling buses, right? Wrong! Isn't that right? Stefan Wall. Sergeant Paul points across the court to Stefan Wall, driver for the band's violinist. You drive the bus of the, for the band's violin player, Boyd Tinsley. You knew the bus was being tailed by the principal viol- violinist of the Chicago Jazz Philharmonic. You were instructed by Boyd to eliminate any potential violin usurpers. This was a hit job, and you didn't care how many innocent people got covered in shit. All you cared about was impressing the violinist of the Dave Matthews Band, because you think you are the coolest person in the world. (laughs) Pathetic. You're guilty. Guilty as hell, I say. Order! Order! This silliness has gone on long enough. This entire charade is ruining the reputation of the Dave Matthews Band and, by extension, their business association with Ben and Jerry's. We need to stop this madness lest Ben and Jerry's ice cream become synonymous with 800 pounds of airborne shit and piss. Have you any idea what that will do to my comfort eating habits when I'm pre-menstrual? That's right, I'm a woman judge, or as it's known in 2022, a judge, and any misogynist who has a problem with that can get the fuck out of this courtroom. <laughs> Stefan Wall, I sentence you to 18 months probation and $10,000 fine for reckless conduct and water pollution. Now, if that's everything, me and my wife, yeah, that's right, I'm a gay judge, got a problem with that? Me and my wife are off to have a ride on the poop deck of a little <laughs> Court dismissed. Woo! Nailed it. All right. Thank you very much for. <laughs> so I have an idea how we could maybe um, end the night. I'm just going to kill that. I was thinking what we could do to just. Um, and the night was maybe have a wee sing song. I haven't been consulted about this. Nathan, I think maybe we'll swap places because you might need the words up, but I think... What song is it? I think the the puppet should should uh, uh. serenade us out for the night. <laughs> what a way to be serenaded out of 2022. Uh, Do you want to come over here and swap? Lo- logistically? Yeah, no, just, just pretend, pretend you're doing it in here. Gotcha. I'll distract them with this Nerf gun. You ready? Woo! Whoa! Wasn't that distracting, everybody? Oh my so god! Look, wow. it's been, uh, uh, come here. Did you? Ha- has this been relatively entertaining? That's all we're aiming for. Relatively entertaining. Yeah, 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 low yeah. expectations. Thank you so much, Ryan and Shailene, for Beauty Sleep for uh, joining Thank us tonight. Thank you so tonight. much, Man Notions, for having us. Come and sit on my lap. Thank you, Man Notions. Sit on my lap here. And this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. You used to move down there. Move down there. Okay. And uh, so last year. Ryan and Shailene, Nathan was a, an expectant father last year. Do you just want to tell the story behind this present? Oh yeah, the story behind this present was last year we were assigned the same, somehow, uh, names on our secret Santa. And, uh, Is that what happened? I, well, I never, mean, never knew that. Well, anyway, uh, so Shailene, I, I got Nathan and Shailene put me on to how uh, sock puppets because she'd been in some like baby sensory classes at this time. Not as a baby. As Not as, <laughs> as an adult, but for babies. Instructor. Sorry, baby I'm sorry that that wasn't clear to the audience, um, but thank you for making me reiterate it. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, um, so yes, as, as an adult for babies, uh, sock puppets were very good for the development of babies so we thought what a great gift for nathan's then you know baby on the way then a a very special sock puppet inspired by a very special person and ladies and gentlemen can you give a big warm welcome to little nathan there he is look at him the wee cum sock you disgusting little cum sock I did come in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so little Nathan Sock Nathan. This is on? Uh, if, if, if anybody wants to sing along with little Sock it, Nathan to I see us out. I feel like I should say I didn't. You see that all right? <coughs> Can you see that all right more like? Yeah. Quickly. 
Start. Oh, we've already started. Let's do it again. It's his first time. Come on, guys. Come on. You got this, little fella. You got this. You got this. <laughs> I got I got this one. Okay. <laughs> this has gotten strange. My my son plays with this. That's fair. That's not what the day of Matthew's yeah. band stood for. <laughs> it's no fucking tripping bellies. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're 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 still in, we're still in. I got it. Holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long live the world in sin and error pining. Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices for yonder breaks. A new and glorious morn for on your knees Oh, hear the angel's voices Oh, night divine Oh, night when Christ was born Oh, night, Diva. Oh, night, oh, night, Diva. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Mad notions, my, my, mad notions, mad, mad notions. And beauty sleep. We did it. Thanks. <laughs>